This is a site swap state toy that I designed. It can represent the state at any moment in a site swap gelling pattern. For example, if I enter the pattern 4, 4, 1, then these LEDs will show the different states that we are going through. These states work as follows. There's three lights, one for each ball in this pattern. So this is a three ball gelling pattern. And their position defines how many beats they have to wait before they are being thrown next. So this one is being thrown next. This one has to wait one more beat. This one two more, etc. And for example, if I throw, uh, let's say, a seven, then this ball shifts to position seven and the other two shift one forward because they are now one beat less waiting. And if I then do a five, then the seven shifted forward, the five enters here, and this, this ball moved to the last beat because this is about to be thrown next. I can now do a six, and then we get seven, five, six. And then I cannot throw anymore because all my balls are in the air. They are waiting to come down. So instead I have to uh, skip a beat, which we call a zero. We have to wait and then another wait and another wait and then we get seven, five, six, zero, 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 which is a valid side swap. And actually this is a way how we can check if a side swap is valid or not. So uh, another side swap we can try is let's do four, four and then a two. And uh, two also does not work because this is not a valid side swap. I want to throw a ball into that gap but because the gap is going to shift the moment that I press, I need to do a one, so it shifts into this position, which is then three. So if I do a one, then we end up with all the three balls again in what we call ground states when they're all in order. This is how you typically start a pattern. Or if I don't want to do a two there, I can also do, of course, a four, four, and then throw a ball in one of these positions. So I could do another four and then a zero, so we get four, 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 zero, which is another valid side swap. This toy can not only do three ball side swaps, I can also switch to five ball mode by holding down the button five, and then I can do patterns such as uh, six, six, three, or seven, four, four. Any of this is possible. It runs on this little Pi Pico. I had never used the Pico before, and this was my opportunity to try it out. Uh, I wrote a little Python script that controls these LEDs and the buttons. It's connected to USB, but it's actually not running on any data. It's just using the power. If I had a, the right battery with me, then I could actually connect it just from the battery. All the computing is happening inside here. And it's very cheap too. You can buy one of these for five euros and then the LEDs plus the buttons is maybe two euros and three for the breadboard. So with less than 10 euros, you can buy build this thing. Should you want to try that, I'll put a link to the code in the description and then I don't have a complete schematic but if you know how to hook up multiple buttons to one analog pin then the rest is not too hard to work out. I'll make sure to put some uh, information in the code. So that's it. I have now built this. I'm not sure what to do with it next so if you have any ideas for that please uh, drop it in the comments. Maybe you know what to do with this. Uh, I will maybe take it to some festivals uh, to show it to people. But of course you can use this to invent new jetting patterns. So that's what I'll do right now. I'll try and make up a new two ball side swap. Let's do a five and then two. Then I have to do a zero and then four, zero, one. And that's a pattern. So that's the way we did. Five, two, zero, four, zero, one. Five, two, zero, four. Four, zero, one. There we have it. A new side swap juggling pattern that I had never come across before just now making this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this side swap state toy. I hope it made you realize how side swap and side swap states work. It definitely helped me to understand it better and uh, yeah, see you around. Bye bye.